Travel trends come and go, but this city's appeal is timeless. Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons you need to visit Paris in 2021. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of the most compelling arguments as to why you should consider Paris for your 2021 travel plans. Number 10. The Landmarks We begin our list with the iconic tourist attractions of Paris, and they're lower in our ranking not because they underwhelm or disappoint, but rather because they're already so well documented. The Eiffel Tower is among the most instantly recognizable structures in the world. Add to that the Louvre Museum, l'Arc de Triomphe, and the Basilique du Sacré-Cœur, among numerous other notable landmarks, and you soon find yourself with a rather full itinerary. Sadly, the restoration of Notre Dame Cathedral will not be complete in 2021, meaning that walking its hallowed interior won't be possible. That being said, it can still be appreciated from afar, which for those with an aversion to crowds and tourist magnets in general, is a totally fine way to see all the aforementioned sites. These landmarks define the Paris skyline. You don't need to queue up to enjoy them. Number 9. The Shopping not every traveler enjoys shopping, but in Paris, even the most thrifty or frugal among us may find themselves tempted. Paris being one of the most popular tourist cities in the world, those who are just looking to get an Eiffel Tower magnet for their fridge will have no problem doing so. But the city is known first and foremost for its fashion, and those who plan to max out their credit cards will want to have a well-thought-out plan of attack. For high-end fashion and brands, Boulevard Saint-Germain and Rue de Rivoli are just a few of the must-visit streets. Looking for a classic Parisian hat, sunglasses, or dress to help you blend in? Le Marais' numerous vintage boutiques will have you covered. Whether you're looking for cosmetics, antiques, books, or cookware, the shops of Paris offer some of the world's finest. Number 8. Café Culture and People Watching as the late great Anthony Bourdain once said, quote, the absolute worst thing to do when you come to Paris is plan too much. Paris is a world-class city with an often overwhelming number of things to see and do, but to really appreciate it, you need to just stop and let it pass you by. There's perhaps no city on earth more famous for its cafe culture than Paris. Countless artists, writers, and creatives have found inspiration sipping on coffee and nibbling a pastry at one of its now famous institutions. The iconic Café de Flore, Les Deux Magots, La Closerie des Lilas, Café de la Rotonde, these are just a few of the city's landmark cafés. But what really makes Parisian café culture so special is that it's all-encompassing. If you balk at the prices and crowds of the aforementioned establishments, finding a café to call your own is as simple as turning the next street corner. And as you sit there, you'll really come to understand the rhythm of the city from the perspective of a local. Number 7. Parks and Gardens Paris is without a doubt among the single most beautiful cities in the world, and to date, it would seem that no amount of tourists can take away from that. Architecture is obviously the dominant factor in making it such a visually arresting metropolis, but we'll get to that later. Too often taken for granted is the role played by the city's ample and extremely well-manicured green spaces. There's just something about a beautiful garden and lines of trees to really make the surrounding ornate buildings sing. Paris is a massive city made up of impressively large buildings, but because there are so many parks and gardens, it never feels oppressive. The major green spaces like the Luxembourg Gardens, Bois de Vincennes, and the Tuileries Gardens are attractions in their own right, but even the small, relatively unknown parks that dot the city tend to be consistently stunning. Number 6. The Wine and beer. What can we say about the wine in Paris that hasn't already been said? Perhaps, quite simply, that it lives up to the hype. Much like you should spend a few hours sipping coffee on a terrasse during the daytime, you should similarly settle in at a wine bar as the sun begins to set. Paris is an enophile's paradise, a place where you can taste the country's very best offerings. For natural wine lovers, La Buvette and Eau Deux Amis are great options, though you are spoiled for choice. Too often overshadowed by the country's world-famous wines, however, is the Parisian beer scene. Though 90% of the beer sold and consumed in France is mass-produced Pilsner Lager, in recent years, Paris has enjoyed something of a craft beer revolution. La Brasserie de Lettres, Le Bouillon Belge, and Brasserie de la Goutte d'Or are just a few of the establishments redefining the Paris beer scene. Number 5. Epic Day Trips 
Considering everything the Paris proper has to offer, it might seem crazy to even entertain the idea of leaving the city limits, especially if you're short on time. But the attractions in the area surrounding Paris are admittedly hard to deny. And who knows when you'll next be in this part of the world. Undeniably one of the most popular day trips from Paris, the Palace of Versailles is every bit as opulent and grand as the photos suggest. That being said, it can get painfully overcrowded during peak season. If you're traveling with children, or just young at heart, a trip to Disneyland Paris makes for a fun change of pace. Is it culturally enriching? No, but Space Mountain is a freaking blast. Arguably the single best day trip, however, is Mont Saint-Michel. Located a little over two hours away by train, this hilltop abbey surrounded by sand and sea is like something out of a fantasy novel. Number 4. The Art Paris is known the world over as a city of art and artists. It lives up to that reputation. The line at the Louvre is painful, but there are few museums whose collections can compete in terms of quality, volume, variety, or name recognition. The over 30,000 works of art on display at the Louvre include the Mona Lisa, the Venus de Milo, the Regent Diamond, Liberty Leading the People, and the Le Massu. But art in Paris by no means begins and ends with the Louvre. The Musée d'Orsay is home to the French masters like Degas and Monet, Centre Pompidou hosts a wide variety of exhibitions, and the Musée National Picasso, as the name suggests, boasts thousands of works from Pablo Picasso. If you're interested in more international and indigenous art, Musée du Quai Branly is a must visit. Number 3. The Architecture As we were saying earlier, Paris is absolutely stunning. There's really no other city quite like it. There are a number of standout architectural attractions throughout the city. These include Tour Montparnasse, Pays Louvre Pyramid, Fondation Louis Vuitton Paris, Centre Pompidou, Galerie Lafayette Haussmann, and more. But what really makes Paris such a remarkable city in terms of architecture is that not only does it showcase styles ranging from the Middle Ages to postmodern, but you're hard pressed to find a building that isn't beautiful, at least in the city center. Much of this can be credited to two things, a moratorium on skyscrapers and the facelift that the city received in the mid-19th century led by Baron Haussmann. Under Napoleon III, Haussmann gave us the city's now iconic Grand Boulevard and the limestone buildings that line them. Number 2. The Food Eating in Paris might just ruin food back home for you. Gomis, Luitrerie Regis, Ellsworth and Les Arlots are just a few of the city's culinary gems that won't break the bank. But a word to the wise, classic Parisian dishes, properly prepared, don't come cheap. The city lives up to its reputation as a culinary capital, but locals are willing to allocate a decent portion of their paychecks to food and wine. Thankfully, there are a number of establishments, like Bouillon Chartier and Bouillon Pigalle, that offer inexpensive versions of the classics like steak frites, pâté en croûte, escargot, and duck confit. If you want the full Parisian culinary experience, budget accordingly. It's worth it. As expensive as composed plates can get, however, small, exquisite bites like macaron, pastries, tarts, and crêpes can be found all across the city. And Parisian food culture extends beyond French food. A cosmopolitan city, Paris does a number of international cuisines extremely well and sometimes relatively inexpensively. Ramen, falafel, Szechuan, you'll taste some of the best you've ever had right here. Number 1. Hidden Gems Paris is a city boasting numerous attractions that receives tens of millions of travelers each year. With such a heavily developed tourism industry, you can easily have your entire trip become one big tourist trap. And if you're content to stick to a destination's greatest hits and primarily visit tourist-oriented establishments, that's totally fine. You'll still have a great time. But if you're the sort of traveler who wants to experience local life and engage with the city's present-day culture and not just its history, there is a whole other side of Paris that far too few travelers ever see. Stroll through the Arcade, covered alleys lined with shops. Step into little boutiques, cafes, and shops that won't appear on any best-of list. See a movie at Cinema L'Arlequin. Go into a fromagerie and a bakery, get some cheese, butter, bread, and settle down in the closest park. Paris is at its best when you throw out your travel guide. In this city of villages, each neighborhood has its own flavor. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.